the stars that we use to measure distances um, with that telescope. I think is the ultimate tool for, for advancing human knowledge, which is, which is AI. A new AI study has just rebuilt what may be the oldest star map on Earth, and the sky coordinates it returned lineup with terrifying precision. I think the stars are wrong. I think uh, oh, yeah, our right. equations are right. Using modern computer vision tools on an ancient Chinese star manual, researchers claim the chart dates back to about 350 BCE, making it older than Hipparchus's catalog by centuries. Every time we've built a telescope, that is, you know, uh, 10 times more precise than the last thing. The result is stirring debate. Either ancient astronomers were shockingly accurate, or an automated method has exposed how later edits and errors hid the original map. Now, an international team of scientists working on a project in the United States. Survey the nearest two, 300 stars looking for evidence of habitable planets. Star Manual of Master Shai. The Star Manual of Master Shai, also known as Shai's Classic of Stars, is believed to be the oldest surviving star chart in the world. It was created in China more than 2,300 years ago, around 355 BCE. For a long time, researchers thought it was younger, but new technology has changed that view. This is like a crazy amount of power for one piece of technology, and it's happened to us so fast. Scientists at the Chinese National Astronomical Observatories used a powerful AI technique called the Generalized Half Transform. This tool uses computer vision to spot and correct mistakes between similar images. By applying it to the ancient text, they discovered the catalog was much older than expected, dating back to the 4th century BCE, with later updates added around 125 CE. This makes it the earliest known star catalog ever recorded, beating the famous Greek astronomer Hipparchus by more than 200 years. New AI that's, that they're being worked on, so they test it before it comes out, and they're like, does it have dangerous capabilities? Professor David Pankenier, an expert in Chinese astronomy, supported these findings, noting they align with earlier research on Master Shi Shen, the historical figure linked to this work. But not everyone agrees. Some scholars believe the differences in the chart come from copying mistakes in later edits. Others suggest the issue may have started with the tools used. Daniel Morgan, a historian of Chinese astronomy, explained that if the instrument used was slightly inaccurate, off by just one degree, the timeline might shift. That would place the chart closer to 103 BCE, a period when Chinese astronomers were already using the armillary sphere, a ringed device that mapped the heavens using spherical coordinates. So, was the star manual truly written in 355 BCE or later in 103 BCE? That's still debated. What is certain is this. The document remains a groundbreaking piece of human history, showing how early civilizations mapped the skies with incredible detail and how modern AI is helping us uncover their secrets today. We all know that digital computers changed virtually every aspect of our life. AI is a software program. AI unlocks secrets of the world's oldest star catalog. A discovery from over 2,300 years ago is now being rewritten with the help of modern AI. The oldest known Chinese star map, called the Star Manual of Master Shai, has been reanalyzed using computer vision and digital image processing. Scientists used AI to compare the positions of stars drawn on this ancient chart with today's coordinates, while also factoring in natural shifts like Earth's axial precession. A group that initially seeks uh, insight uh, into AI. This process, almost like turning back time, allowed them to restore the original star placements and date the map back to the 4th century BCE. Shi Shen, an astronomer and astrologer who lived during the Warring States period, carefully mapped about 120 stars. These included major constellations like Virgo, Leo, and Coma Berenices, as well as Polaris, the North Star, which symbolized the Emperor. To the ancient Chinese, the heavens mirrored life on Earth. Stars were seen as palaces, princes, or even concubines, and a solar eclipse was imagined as a dragon swallowing the sun. The manual, known as Shi Shi Xing Jing, became a detailed record of Shi Shen's work. Some researchers argue the catalog may have been drawn later, around 103 BCE, if instruments used were misaligned. But others remain confident that the 4th century BCE dating is accurate, making it even older than the famous Greek astronomer Hipparchus's catalog. By using AI-powered techniques like the generalized half-transform, scientists corrected mistakes in the digitized images and improved accuracy. They explain that their method solves errors that older studies faced and helps confirm the true observation dates. Their conclusion is clear. Shi Shen's catalog is not only the oldest in China, but also the oldest star catalog in the world. How good AI is it learning this? Secrets of Shu's catalog.
how closely the old star coordinates match modern star positions, even after we adjust for changes in Earth's rotation over thousands of years. To test this, scientists used a simple metric. How many degrees the old positions are off compared to today's, and how many stars line up correctly. On screen, this can be shown as a table comparing the ancient coordinates with the modern ones. Xi's star catalog is at the center of this discovery. It carefully documented 120 stars, with full positional data for 118 of them. The Babylonians had described star positions even earlier, around the 8th century BCE, but this catalog was different because it was laid out as a structured star map. You look 60 degrees off axis on either side, there's the Trojans and the Greeks, and it's a small collection of asteroids and small bodies, and so we think we could detect those around other stars. Archaeology magazine reports that this map was originally believed to have been created around 125 CE. The real breakthrough came when researchers applied an image processing method called the generalized Hoff transform. This advanced computer vision tool detects errors in images, almost like artificial intelligence spotting patterns that the human eye might miss. With it, scientists could line up the ancient star positions with modern coordinates and finally determine the time period the map was based on. For years, astronomers were puzzled by inaccuracies in Master Shear's manual, but this study revealed that the first observations were actually made in the 4th century BCE, and later adjustments were added in the 2nd century CE. Live science explains that some of the mismatches likely came from the limited instruments used to draw the map. The shocking part is not the small errors, but the level of accuracy the ancients achieved. Without telescopes, they still managed to plot stars with surprising precision. Take Hipparchus, for example. He charted about 850 stars with nearly one degree accuracy. All he had were simple tools like gnomons and astrolabes, and of course sharp naked eye observations. These ancient observers divided the circle into 360 degrees a system we still use today. Their ability to measure the sky with such precision proves that human observation alone, even before modern technology, could unlock the secrets of the universe. World's first star catalog. A new study powered by artificial intelligence has brought fresh attention to an ancient Chinese star catalog. Researchers now suggest that this document, known as the Star Manual of Master Shai, may date back to around 355 BCE. If this is correct, it would make it the oldest known star catalog in the world, over 200 years older than the famous work of the Greek astronomer Hipparchus. But not everyone agrees. Some historians argue that small errors, such as a one-degree misalignment in the instruments used at the time, could explain differences in the map's details. Still, if the new date holds true, it pushes the creation of this chart back about 250 years earlier than scholars once thought. The study was led by Boliang He and Yongheng Zhao from the National Astronomical Observatories in Beijing. Using artificial intelligence, they analyzed how the Earth's axis slowly shifts over time, a natural process called precession. This shift changes the position of the stars in the night sky. By tracking this movement, they were able to estimate when the star map must have been drawn, similar to how tree rings reveal a tree's age. Their analysis suggests the manual was first created in 355 BCE and later revised around 125 CE. If true, this timeline fits closely with when Shai is believed to have lived. Our findings align with historical accounts and show the completeness of ancient Chinese records, he explained in an interview. Not all experts are convinced, though. While David Pankinier, an American scholar of Chinese astronomy, calls the evidence pretty definitive, others like Bo Shun Yang, a historian in China, believe the dating still leaves room for debate. Main Critiques of the Discovery the discovery of what might be the world's oldest star map, linked to the ancient Greek astronomer Hipparchus, has caused a lot of excitement, but not everyone is fully convinced. Scholars and scientists have raised important critiques that question whether the evidence really proves Hipparchus's star catalog has been found. Let's break down the three main concerns, later edits, misalignment, and statistical overfitting. The first critique is the possibility of later edits. The manuscript that contained the star map was a palimpsest, meaning the original writing was scraped off and written over with new text. This was common in ancient times because parchment was expensive, but it also means the original work could have been changed at some point in history. Critics argue that if later scribes modified or added to the text, then what we are reading today may not be the pure work of Hipparchus. Instead, it could be a mixture of different sources, copied and reshaped over centuries. This makes it difficult to say with certainty that Hipparchus was the true author of the star positions. 
The second critique is about misalignment. When researchers reconstructed the coordinates of the stars from the damaged manuscript, some of the numbers did not perfectly match where the stars should have been at the time Hipparchus was working in the second century BC. Even small errors can make a big difference in astronomy. Skeptics suggest that these misalignments could mean the catalog was not original to Hipparchus, or that mistakes were introduced when later copies were made. Others believe the errors may have come from modern interpretation, where scientists tried to fit damaged text into a working model. Either way, misalignment raises questions about the reliability of the findings. The third critique focuses on statistical overfitting by algorithms. To recover the hidden text, researchers used advanced imaging and computer algorithms. These tools are powerful, but skeptics argue that they can sometimes see patterns that are not really there. In other words, the algorithms may have forced the damaged data to fit the expected star positions, creating results that look more precise than they actually are. If overfitting happened, then the reconstructed catalog might reflect modern bias more than ancient truth. AI decodes the ancient Chinese star map. For centuries, people have looked up at the night sky and drawn maps of the stars. One of the oldest surviving records is the Shishi Xingjing, an ancient Chinese star catalog that listed more than 1,400 stars grouped into two 83 constellations. It is believed to have been compiled during the Han Dynasty, though the exact time of its creation has remained uncertain. That's where modern technology steps in. Today, AI is being used to validate and date this ancient star map with surprising accuracy. The process begins by gathering the original stellar coordinates and constellation information recorded in the Shusha Xingjing. These ancient positions are then compared with modern star charts. But the night sky is not fixed. Over time, stars appear to move slightly due to natural effects such as stellar drift and the precession of Earth's axis. These gradual changes mean the sky seen 2,000 years ago does not look the same as the one we see today. To account for this, AI runs simulations that adjust for these shifts, creating a more accurate comparison between past and present. What makes AI powerful here is its ability to handle vast datasets quickly. By analyzing the 28 Shu constellations, a system of lunar mansions used in Chinese astronomy, AI applies statistical methods like interval estimation to narrow down the possible era when the observations were first recorded. For cases where only limited historical data exists, AI also uses bootstrapping, a statistical tool that estimates confidence levels and reduces uncertainty. These methods ensure that the results are not only fast, but also reliable. The process does not end with a single calculation. AI models continually refine their simulations. Each round improves precision, gradually tightening the range of possible observational dates. Over time, this iterative approach allows researchers to move closer to determining the most likely epoch in which the Shishi Xingjing was compiled. Beyond dating the star map, this technology also highlights how advanced ancient astronomy truly was. Compiling over 1,000 stars without telescopes required years of careful observation and knowledge passed through generations. AI gives us a way to honor that work by confirming just how accurate those records were compared to what we know today. Origins of Modern Astronomy A recent discovery has forced historians and scientists to rethink the beginnings of astronomy. For a long time, people believed that modern astronomy only began in later centuries, when mathematical models were first used to map the stars. But new findings prove that this milestone actually took place much earlier, thanks to the work of the ancient Greek astronomer Hipparchus. Researchers uncovered this breakthrough while studying an old manuscript. At first glance, the text looked like a Christian document written by a 6th century monk. But hidden underneath, scientists found erased writings that turned out to be something far more important. A star catalog. Using advanced technology, they reconstructed the original content and discovered coordinates showing the positions of stars. Here is where the discovery becomes remarkable. The star coordinates were incredibly precise, accurate to within just one degree and they were traced back to Hipparchus, who lived in the second century BCE. This single finding changes how we tell the story of astronomy in two major ways. First, it pushes the earliest known formal star chart back by several hundred years. Before this, historians credited later astronomers with creating detailed star maps. Now, we know that Hipparchus was already charting the sky in a scientific way more than 2,000 years ago. Second, it shifts credit for using coordinate methods to Hipparchus. Many believed that mapping stars with mathematical coordinates was a practice that emerged much later. But this work shows that Hipparchus had already developed that system, laying the groundwork for how we still map stars today. Why should viewers care about this? 
because this discovery shows that science does not move in a straight line. Important knowledge can be lost, erased, or hidden for centuries, only to be rediscovered later. It also reveals how advanced ancient scholars were. Hipparchus was not simply stargazing, he was applying rigorous methods to measure and predict the heavens. His work turned the sky into something that could be calculated, not just admired. This matters today because astronomy still relies on the same principles. Tracking stellar motion acts as a cosmic clock, helping us date events and understand how the universe evolves. What Hipparchus began continues to shape space science, satellite navigation, and even the way we explore distant galaxies. From Hipparchus to today, this discovery is not just about a lost star map. It is also a story about technology, ethics, and the future of how we study the past. For centuries, Hipparchus's work was hidden beneath layers of writing from another era. Now, thanks to advanced imaging techniques and artificial intelligence, we can finally see what was thought to be gone forever. This is a technological triumph. It shows how new tools can recover knowledge that would otherwise remain buried. But there is also a limit to what AI and machines can do in the humanities. Algorithms can detect faint traces of ink or reconstruct patterns. But it takes historians, linguists, and astronomers to interpret what those signals mean. Without human judgment, context, and skepticism, raw data would not become meaningful history. This balance between machine power and human insight is what makes discoveries like this possible. The immediate next steps are already underway. The study has been submitted for peer review, meaning other experts will now test the claims and check the data. The team has also promised to release parts of their reconstructed datasets, giving scholars worldwide the chance to study Hipparchus's coordinates for themselves. This kind of openness is critical. It allows the scientific community to confirm, challenge, and build upon the findings. There are also ethical questions to keep in mind. Who controls access to ancient manuscripts? How do we balance preservation with exploration, especially when fragile texts are involved? And as AI grows more powerful in deciphering lost works, how do we ensure that cultural heritage remains accessible to all, not just locked behind paywalls or private institutions? These are issues that need careful thought as the field moves forward. At the same time, it is hard not to feel awe. Imagine the precision and vision of an astronomer more than 2,000 years ago, plotting the sky without telescopes, satellites, or modern instruments. Hipparchus turned the stars into measurable objects, and through this new discovery, we are reminded of both the brilliance of the past and the power of present technology to reconnect us with it. We hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more amazing stories.